may surprise you, but we're not going to go to the Chrysler section. We're actually going to go to the Toyota section today. And we're going to show you why. Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the audio quality of this video. Um, we were um, experimenting with uh, a new microphone that we thought was going to be better, but it ended up being only better when Blake was talking and it couldn't catch me talking too good. And also it wasn't really that good with Blake talking. And you can see the little fur ball on the top right uh, in a couple of the clips. So we're not going to be using that one much anymore. Um, uh, but stick around. It gets better uh, later on in the video. And we're going to definitely test out some better microphones before we start recording next time. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. We're out here at the local pull-it park yard. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in there, find some vehicles to get us some penny swap parts today. We're going to show you what you need to grab when you're out here and why they're uh, valuable to you. Awesome, and we are out at Pull Apart in uh, Greenwell Springs, Louisiana. Let's roll. Got Blake and Mike here. At the local Pull Apart. Yeah, local Pull Apart in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And uh, we're doing some Hemi Part swap finding today, some parts. It may surprise you, but we're not going to go to the Chrysler section. We're actually going to go to the Toyota section today. And we're going to show you why. What we're on the hunt for is, I believe, row 319. It's going to have a Toyota Echo, and that's what we're looking for today. A Toyota. A Toyota, buddy. You got it. Yes, indeed. I'm sure Blake's been drinking something, but we'll see. <laughs> it's too early. It's too hot to be pushing this damn cart like this. I'm wearing a black shirt. What you complaining about? Cody needs to get us some new shirt. Cody, get us some new gear, man. Please. It's hot. I'm sweating up all the right now. Alright, 318. I think we're coming up on it. Hopefully we uh, have what we need in this guy. Yeah, I know we've been trying to improve on our audio quality for you guys. It's one thing that we've been uh, aware yeah. of. Yeah, so we got some extra microphones and all that. Here we go. What you got? We have an echo. Is this it? This is it. So what we are looking for is the power steering pump. Yes, the power steering pump, and it is here, but it is way back there. Okay, so, as some of you may or may not know, the power steering pump on most late model Hemi's was actually manufactured by Toyota. You can actually see it cast into the housing of the power steering pump. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull the power steering pump from an Echo. We've done our research and homework to know that there are variations in output pressures. The Echo and the MR2 Toyota had a very low output pressure which is also very uh, compatible, if you will, with some of your older Chrysler vehicles. We're talking about 750 to 800s, mid 800 PSI discharge pressure. And we're gonna show you how you can take a Toyota power steering pump from an Echo or an MR2 and upgrade your Hemi power steering pump for that low pressure needed for your Hemi swap. No, that's it. This thing even has power steering. It does. How Thank light you. this damn car is. That's it down there. Let's see. Let's see. See the reservoir. That's the reservoir. The pump's right underneath it with this okay. tiny little belt. So we have to get that sucker off. does any work. We're about to find out. <laughs> Mike's got jokes. Yeah, we tried to, yeah. DIY Hemi. See what's up. <laughs> That's it, my man. Everybody's out here hustling. Hustling. Alright, so we 
are going to get in here and get this guy off. Really all you need to do is get the high pressure discharge section off. What we're going to be looking for is Toyota was very creative with their power steering pumps. <coughs> the internal relief valve that's in the power steering pump is actually designated with a la laser etched. <coughs> so we actually have letters that range A through F you can see on the, the relief valve. You could pull out and interchange them. So you really don't need the whole power steering pump. You just need the relief valve inside. So actually you can get to the high pressure port on this car by pulling the front wheel off. If you get down, you can look straight here through the front cradle. And that is it right here. If you look at the, the tip of the wrench, I'm not sure you can get in there. Okay, a little bit down. You're, you're going to have a, a hard line that goes into the power steering pump. And then you'll see there's another, uh, like a back nut. You'll take that back nut off, and then the whole plunger, the, um, the pressure relief valve assembly will slide right out. y'all know this is the day after hurricane laura just hit louisiana texas so we got some rain drops. hey guys mike here um i'm gonna start fast forwarding through a lot of this because uh blake and i had a, a pretty hard time uh trying to get this power steering pump out the uh, toyota echoes i uh, got a pretty small footprint and the motors uh, basically given a small shoe box to uh, put the whole thing in. So um, I think the whole thing took, took like about maybe a good 20 minutes to, uh, to get out. So it wasn't too bad, but definitely didn't want to record the whole thing. Uh, I think there was about four or five bolts that we had to get out and we had to cut out the uh, hoses to, to get the rest of it out. Um, but eventually came out. So here it is. All right, ready? Ready. All right. So after some struggling, we finally got this guy out. It's a pretty tight fit. Thanks, Toyota. Should have made it easier on us. Hemi swap, guys. We finally got this guy out. That's a treasure, guys. This is it. And this is what I was talking about. So you have your high pressure discharge line coming out of the housing. You actually notice this whole power steering pump is very, very similar to the one on the, the earlier Gen 3 Hemi. So uh, the cars, especially 05 through the 08 years. What we're going to do is we're actually going to buy this whole thing. The bolting, it's a three bolt setup, is different. So if you try to bolt this on a Hemi head, the reservoir would be pointing down. Um, so what we're gonna do is remove the high pressure discharge line. You're gonna take this nut off right here on the back and the relief valve is gonna be inside here. And what we're gonna do is show you that process on the Hemi Cuda and show you exactly how we're gonna use this part. And now you can see right here, Toyota stamped into the power steering pump itself. This is identical to those earlier Gen 3 Hemis where they say Toyota with a D, not a T. So the Hemi has Toyota parts. Yes, it does. And Mercedes parts. It's all right. Best of all worlds. Whew. All right, we just got out of the pull apart yard. Just pretty nasty. Yeah, Louisiana weather. We got a good score today. Uh, so all in all, it did pretty good. We got the Toyota Echo power steering pump for 24 bucks. We have all of these connectors for I think $14. <laughs> and the throttle position sensor for 16 bucks. So uh, a lot cheaper than online, a lot cheaper than buying new. 
course, you know, there's no new part warranty, so it's always a risk, but it's well worth it in our case. Definitely. Support your local pull-apart yard. That's it, guys. Get out there and get dirty. See you and get wet. Not like that. Please like and subscribe.